Welcome to video presentation featuring Suhartini, Zulkarnain, Yuang and Uzair. We will talk about This is the content Why Intel TXT? Intel TXT is specifically designed to harden platforms from the emerging threats of hypervisor attacks, BIOS or other firmware attacks, malicious rootkit installations, or other software-based attacks. The mechanism of malware may be differ but they have the same purpose which are corrupt system, disrupt business, steal data, and seize control of platform. While the traditional approach of using antivirus software was for known bad elements, Intel TXT gave an approach on known good focused, having the ability to check for malicious software before they ev are even launched. Intel TXT gives IT and security organizations important enhancements to help ensure more secure the components' functionalities also will be enhanced, these including processor, chipset, keyboard and mouse, graphics, and TPM, which stands for Trusted Platform Module. Intel TXT established the root of trust that provides the necessary underpinnings, trusted, temper-resistant posi position to evaluate the integrity of any other components, enabling assurance through a secure comparison against expected measurements. What is Intel TXT? Intel TXT stands for Trusted Execution Technology, formerly known as La Grande Technology, which is a computer hardware technology. Intel TXT primary goals are Attestation of the authenticity of a platform and its operating system, assuring that an authentic operation system starts in a trusted environment, which can then be considered trusted, and last but not least, providing of a trusted operating system with additional security capabilities not available to an unproven one. Intel TXT provides first one verified launch, which is a hardware based chain of trust that enables launch of the MLE into a known good state. Changes to the MLE can be detected through cryptographic, hash based, or sign measurements. The second one is launch control policy, LCP which is a policy engine for the creation and implementation of enforceable list of known good or approved executable code. The third one, it is secret protection and hardware assisted methods that remove residual data at an improper MLE shutdown, protecting data from memory snooping software and reset attacks. Last but not least, the attestation, the ability to provide platform measurement credentials to local or remote users or system to complete the trust verification process and support compliance and audit the activities. So for the next one, how does it work? 
Intel TXT works by creating a measured launch environment, which is MLE, that enables an accurate comparison of all the critical elements of the launch environment against a known root source. As the diagram showed, with TXT, software can be measured and verified as known good source. First step is the power on the platform is turned on, then the system firmware verified by TXT prior to boot. After firmware or the BIOS match, and yes, then the hypervisor code measured by TXT and compared to known good value prior to allowing to launch. After hypervisor measure match, and yes, it will launch the VMs, OS, etc. With TXT2, unknown software is measured, detected, and can be blocked. The first step is power on the platform, system firmware verified by TXT prior to boot, just like the other one. After firmware or the BIOS match, Hypervisor code measured by TXT and compared to known good value prior to allowing to launch. Then, after hypervisor measure match, but no, it's, it will not match, then the TXT blocks launch of the rootkit hypervisor. So, there are few control points inside Intel TXT architecture. The first one, it will load the CNET and MLE into memory, then invoke the get set, which is the center. Then the third step is establish special environment and load the CNET into ACEA, then validate CNET digital signature which is it stored the scenic identity inside the TPM last but not least scenic measures MLE in memory which is store the MLE identity inside the TPM the second one control points is it will load the scenic and MLE into memory second invoke the set which is the center then establish the special environment then load send it into ACEA then validate send it digital signature which is stored inside the TPM stored the send it identity then the send it measures MLE in memory to store the MLE identity inside the TPM then loads the LCP, then the CNET will pass passes control to known MLE. This diagram shows what are the features inside the TPM architecture itself. This diagram shows the Intel vPro platform, which is a sum of hardware, BIOS, extensions, and applications that deliver the best solution for business which is used by today's technology device. We already mentioned about LCP just now. So LCP protection give a few benefits, which is in terms of integrity, LCP stored on hard drive, hash of LCP stored inside the TPM, which is CNET loads the SCP and validates the SCP by comparing hash values. The second one is the authorization. The SCP hash stored inside the TPM, non-volatile storage, having two locations, which is in platform owner and platform default. Then it will write restrictions enforced by TPM. So what are the benefits of Intel TXT? The first one is help users to increase their confidence in computing environment and malware software can be detected and countermeasured by using additional protection. The third one, protection for corporate 
information asset will be improved. Last but not least, confidentiality and integrity for sensitive information will be more improved. Hi class! So far, so good or good? At this point, we hope that you guys can understand our presentation at least a bit about the Intel's TXT. As early of our presentations, we have presented about the introduction of Intel TXT, how it works and the benefit of it. So, we have come to the last part of our presentation which to conclude our findings. As per mentioned earlier, our team chose Intel TXT in our security technologies because of three main reasons. First, Intel TXT enables us to address the increasing and involving security threats across physical and virtual infrastructure. Secondly, Intel TXT helps us to facilitate its compliance with the government's and industry regulations beside the data protection standards. Finally, we choose Intel TXT because it helps us to reduce malware-related support and remediation costs. There is always limitation when it comes to technology. For example, the boot process of a typical computer. To get to a running state, you need to go through the BIOS, the bootloader, possibly the hypervisor, the kernel and the graphical shell. There might be other elements that also have privileged access to a system component, such as an abandoned processor, Intel ME or AMD PSP, or a best board management controller known as BMC. Technology that requires security of a large amount of the platform and the boot chains, such as Intel TXT, cannot practically be used in a secure way. This is because the Trusted Computing Base or TCB is so large. Actually, by reducing the TCB means less opportunities to do things wrong. This is especially true if you don't want to trust the platform owner, such as in the cloud. Finally, for future work, Intel STX does provide complete security solutions whereby implementing integrity protected encryptions and isolations directly at the processor level. Intel STX not only reduces the TCB to just the processor and your applications, but also do the isolations that allows you to split up your application, achieving less privilege. Intel STX is not only the best choice for our runtime encryption platform, it is currently the only choice. In the future, it is entirely possible that runtime encryption will be made available on the other platform that are sufficiently secured.